Hi, dear students, you are welcome back to my channel, Edube. As you are preparing for your exam, I quickly want to share with you some tips which is going to help you for your exam preparation. You know that you will be having document production, database, and presentation for your paper too. Then, in your document production, all what you need to focus on, number one, header and footer. You need to know how to add header and footer. And in the header and footer, you know, they might ask you to put some page number, um, and they might also ask you to put your name and center number. All those ones should be quite easy for you to do. If you don't know how to do that, then make sure you spend some time to study how to put header and footer. Then another one is the paragraph style. Paragraph style is very important. It carries around three to five marks. So make sure you know how to put paragraph style. Then um, some questions will also ask you to put some columns, either two or three columns. It always comes out every year. You, ne you need to know how to put columns, two or three columns. Then you need to know how to insert image. You need to know how to insert image. And in the image, you can resize the image by keeping the aspect ratio. Then you can rotate the image as well. Make sure you know how to do that. Then another one is the bullet as well as indentation. Indentation is the space between the text and the beginning of the paragraph. So you need to know how to do that as well. Then uh, sometimes you might see some question which might ask you to insert table. And in the table, they might ask you to do some editing. So for example, one of the editing that is quite famous, they normally ask for table is to merge. To merge the table. Then they might ask you to put some background color in the table and some things like that. Then chart is also one of the important things you need to know in document production. You'll be given another file in Excel and they will ask you to create either bar chart or pie chart on line graph. Then after that, you will import. So that chart to your document production. Make sure you know how to do that. And in the chart, normally they normally ask you to edit the category axis as well as the value axis. They might ask you to do the minimum, maximum, as well as the increment in the value axis. Make sure you know how to do all those things. If you don't know how to do them, then those are the things that you need to pay attention to. Now, uh, let's quickly talk about the database. Database is very, very important because it carries a lot of maths. Sometimes it's even carry more maths than document production. And just only five or six things you need to focus on. Number one, you need to know how to import tables. If you know how to do that, at least you can get up to like three to five marks for that. Then another one is to how to create the relationships. For sure, they will ask you. So sometimes you might be given around two or three tables and they ask you to create a relationship between these tables. Then another one is how to create forms. Sometimes, you know, you might be lucky that you are given a very simple form, which form reside, then you can quickly have it done. But sometimes they might also ask you to edit the form. In that case, you need to click on form. Uh, you need to create on the um, uh, on design view. Then you can edit the form. Then another one is a report, label, and extract. Take notes. Whenever they ask you to create a report, they, they ask you to create a label as well as extract. For sure, you need to create a query. And usually, the first two or three questions, they used to be the query. So especially whenever you see in this order. In this order, that question downward, that is report or label or extract. Anything that comes before it, that should be query. So make sure you do the query properly, especially, you know, so if you didn't do the query, if you don't know how to do the query, definitely your report or your label or your extract is not going to be correct. So spend a lot of time and try to practice as much as you could that you know how to do query properly. And the most important thing you're supposed to know in query is how to create a new field, all right? Then another one is how to calculate total or how to do the average minimum maximum count those are the things that we normally do as far as database is concerned so pay attention to that if you don't know how to do it i've done a lot of videos on this you can just uh, go back to my pre uh, to my previous videos and you try to watch them and lastly for the presentation presentation is the easiest one in fact it normally carries around eight to seven or sometimes ten marks so uh, in the total mark for the presentation all what you need to do here is slide master and for the slide master they may ask you to put, it, uh, to put header as well as the footer in which you put the page, uh, you put the slide number and you put your center number and card name number. So those are the things that we normally do in this slide master. Then in your presentation, they might ask you to put some charts, some table, just like you did in the document production. So this, you know, so the thing is very simple and paper two is around 70 marks. So if you can get at least, at least 65 out of 70, that would be very, very nice. So can you comment below? So do you have enough confidence? How many marks do you think you can get in paper two out of 70? And finally, don't forget that evidence file, evidence document is very, very important. It's around seven to eight marks. No evidence file, then you will lose a lot of marks because examiner cannot even know, cannot even determine either you have done all the tasks correctly or you didn't do it correctly. So don't ever underestimate your evidence file. And whenever they ask you to print, make sure you print properly. If you don't know how to print, then you can ask your invigilator to help you. And you know, for whatever reason, make sure you print all what they ask you to print. So don't be lazy in terms of evidence file, then in terms of printout. I wish you the best, and I hope this video is going to put you on the right track. So thank you. Bye. See you for now. I